Hello everyone. Today let's try to solve the problem of this TV here. As you can see, there are white patches on the screen and the image is not clear. The image appears in the back side and front there is very big patches. So to solve that we need to replace the front polarizer film. Just remove the back cover. Remove the frame that holds the stand. Remove the speakers. <coughs> remove the front bezel. By unlocking all the four sides. There are certain locks and for different kind of TVs these locks will be at different places so check it carefully and remove the front bezel. So here the speaker is loose it's not fixed so we need to replay, remove it and keep it aside. Already we have removed the front bezel so turn the TV place the screen upside facing upside. So uh, remove the screws on the metal frame. Many TVs do not have this frame but several TVs, old TVs, do. they do have this metal frame. So remove this metal frame to expose the screen. Now you can see, take a hot air blower or a hair dryer, heat it on one corner and try to peel the polarizer film gently. So when you peel it for an inch or two then ap apply glass cleaning solution or something or some solution which dissolves the glue so gently pull it apply the solution again pull it so if you want to see the full length video of this reparation or of this replacement you kindly click on the link provided here on the top corner or the link provided in the description of this video. So now just pull it gently. While pulling it gently what you need to do is hold the screen that is the glass part with one hand and pull the polarizer film gently with the other. Hold the hand close to the polarizer film where you are pulling it to avoid cracking of the screen. Pull it, now apply the solution again, again pull it and one more thing I would like to tell you it is very important, the whatever solution you are using to remove the polarizer film, that solution should not flow to the bottom of the screen that is towards downwards because there we can see some chip on film ices as the arrow marks show here. These chip on film ices, they are glued to the glass surface of the screen and if the liquid flows or if the cleaning solution flows to that chip on film ices then you will face the line on screen problem. There will be different color lines on the screen. So to avoid that, see that none of the solution will flow or will get to the cough ices. So after removing the film, we have glue residue. So to remove the glue residue, we need to apply the glass cleaning solution again and take a blade uh, from a cutter, radium cutter etc. Or if you have any other better method, you can just uh, mention it in the comments so that it will be useful for someone somewhere. Whoever wishes to do it on their own, the method may be useful. So here and also in market we see many kind of liquid solutions are available to remove the glue from the mobile phone screens or TV screens. So you can use those also but I have not used that so I can't say much about the solutions. If you wish you can buy them and use it for removing the residue glue residue. After removing all the glue, just once again check and uh, clean the surface of the screen with the microfiber cloth, applying the solution, glass cleaning solution or TV screen cleaning solution, whichever is good for you. Now switch on the TV, as the, there is no polarizer film, the screen will appear white, full white and when we place the polarizer film, we can see raster inside, see, the color shades are due to the scratch resistance film that is attached on the polarizer film. 
later we will remove it now peel the glue protection sticker from the polarizer film on the bottom side down side here one more thing is very important that is this film it should be set at the right correct angle that is all the four corners should match the four corners of the screen all the four corners of polarizer film should match the four corners of the screen if you place it inclined then you may see white bright lines where it is not fixed on the screen so to avoid such things check see that the polarizer film is placed in a proper angle if you wish you can attach some supports to all corner so by pulling the protection film from the one hand and rubbing the film from the top side the glue will fix fix if you see any bubbles air bubbles you can take a sharp pin puncture the bubble and remove the hole see that you will not press the pin too hard it may cause crack on the glass the the puncture should be only on the polarizer film as you can see now the it's good raster is good there is no lines or any such thing if there are any small bubbles air gap then it will disappear by itself later on now remove the scratch protection film if you do not remove this film there is possibility that at some angles the image will be shading so now it's good now place the metal frame and fasten the screws take the front bezel and fix the front bezel go on pressing all the locks all the four sides and the corners place it upside down fix all the components which were removed and one more thing before fixing the back cover confirm once again that you have fixed all the wires and cables and connectors which you have removed earlier whether it is ir blaster connector speaker connectors on off switch connector etc etc after fixing all this here i am fixing the stand support stand frame fix the back cover and after fixing the back cover just remember you need to fix the screws respective screws and the in their respective places if there are any short or long screws just place them in a proper place fix them in proper place if you place if you fix the long screws in the short screw place then there are chances that it will crack the front screen now as you can see after fixing everything and fixing the stand that you appears like this after replacing the polarizer film so let me switch it on once again and check it as you can see it's good it's very clear no dots no lines nothing it's were it's like a new tv hope this video is going to be helpful for you in replacing the polarizer film of your led lcd oled tv if this video was helpful for you kindly hit the like icon share the video and subscribe to our channel if you have not yet subscribed thank you for watching everyone have a good time